Ah, French. That fabulous romantic language that they speak in France, of course. Wait, this is the French video, right? Je m'appelle Niveta, j'ai 22 ans. Believe it or not, French is spoken in 84 countries. And if you love French, we'll come and jump on this tour, this world tour of French accents. And don't worry, we will always have Paris. C'était une partie de championnat, tu serais déjà disqualifié. Écoute, Paris, au moins j'en ai fait plus de 10 de parties de championnat. Once upon a time, French was only spoken here. Now, it's an official language on five continents with 300 million speakers who live in 84 countries. How could they possibly have anything in common? Well, they do, and they're called francophones. Chocolatine. Parce que j'ai peut-être les chiens. Quel chien Les meubles. Et pourquoi donner ces meubles à des chiens Mais non, les chiens, pour les chiens, ils ont pas donné à des chiens, chez meubles, il est parti avec. Mais pourquoi vous dites qu'il les a donnés Mais j'ai jamais dit chat. Pourquoi des chats Mais dit des chiens. Les chiens à lui Ah, les siens, pas les chiens Les siens Ouais, les chiens, c'est chaud. Les chiens, les chats, putain, mais tout le monde parle comme vous ici. It is France that has the most native French speakers, followed by one country right here, and one country, well, also here. But France alone has 28 regional dialects, and it can be hard to tell what's what, because some of them are considered separate languages. Ah non, mais tu veux pas savoir ce qui m'est arrivé l'autre jour. J'étais dans ma bagnole, tranquille, je m'arrête au feu rouge, jusque là tout est normal. Et là, il y a un mec qui me rentre dedans par derrière. J'hallucine quoi. Non, mais attends, c'est pas fini. Le mec il sort de sa caisse, il commence à m'insulter quoi. If you love Paris, well, this might be the accent that you recognize most. It's Parisian French, of course. Just the name sounds sophisticated. Parisian French or Metropolitan French is the most popular kind, and you can usually recognize the famous Parisian uh, in between sentences. They also speak with a pretty strong nasal sound in Paris, but then if you go down to the sunny south of France, you might hear one of the many dialects of Meridional French, which has a few of its own grammatical quirks. On parle beaucoup par onomatopée. Oh, enfin, c'est dire le oh, on va l'exagérer. Yes, they use a lot of interjections here. Marseille has a very recognizable southern accent. For example, they emphasize the final E in words, even when everyone else mutes it, especially those Parisians. Southern French is known to have a sweeter, softer sound to it. And they even call it l'accent chantant, the singing accent. You can hear it in places like Bordeaux, Provence, uh, Bordeaux, Provence, Lyon. And as for the southwestern accent of Toulouse, well, it has a reputation for being the sexiest French accent of all. These southern accents all evolved from the old Franco-Provençal language of the region, while the northern varieties were influenced by Germanic languages. Nix, Nix, me me for call, pa Jean-Marie, je sais qu'il y a quelque chose. Alors dis-le moi, s'il te plaît, avant qu'on prenne tes pas. Parce que j'en ai tout simplement marre de pas avoir un chilero au cul. Je le savais, je le savais que c'était ça. On t'a déjà dit avec l'équipe que tu as le droit d'avoir un chilé. Another thing worth mentioning is that the different regions don't even necessarily have the same number of vowel sounds. In the south, they distinguish the un and the un, whereas in the north, these aren't distinguished at all. So, bottom line, northern French sounds very different from southern French. But what happens if we take a drive across the border? Française. Je viens d'un autre pays francophone, je viens de Belgique. Donc, je suis. Donc, un belgicisme, en fait, c'est euh, le mot qu'on utilise pour désigner les mots qui viennent du français de Belgique. Donc, un belgicisme, c'est un mot en. If your geography is good, well, you will understand why Belgian French is a lot like standard Parisian French, but not exactly. Quitte quelqu'un, mais qu'on va le revoir dans la journée. Donc en France, en, en français de France, on va dire à tout à l'heure. En français de Belgique, on dit à tantôt. En réalité, à tantôt, c'est vraiment du... Pardon. À tantôt, c'est vraiment du très très vieux français. They talk a little slower, throw in some loan words and even some archaic French terms. Let's not forget the Dutch influence. Belgians also speak Dutch. So where exactly do the French half live? Well, not here in the northern Flemish part of Belgium, but as soon as you head south to Brussels or Wallonia, there it is. French is everywhere. Brussels French got a heavy dose of Dutch, mind you. Until the 19th century, they only spoke Dutch here. Bonjour à tous. Je suis de Suisse. Euh, il y a quatre différentes régions linguistiques en Suisse. La Suisse allemande qui est la plus grande partie. Ensuite, il y a la Romandie où ils parlent français. 
in snowy Switzerland, the West End is called Romandie, and this is where almost 25% of the Swiss population live. After the French Revolution, only French was taught in schools here. So there you go, they speak Swiss French. It's very similar to the French in France and Belgium, and most of the differences are in the word choices. For example, lots of terms crept in from Swiss German and from a language called Arpiton, the language of the Alps. Oh, y a, y a rien. On parle tous le même français, vous savez. Intonation Oui. Donc, l'intonation. Et donc, c'est comment cette intonation plus, plus spécialement de jeunes de la région parisienne. Mm. Je ne retrouve pas forcément dans le midi de la France. Bah, je sais pas déjà. Euh... Après, ça dépend. By the way, I'm always making new videos about languages, where they come from and where they're going. And if you like that idea, well, you can really help my research scientifically by clicking these three buttons right here. Bonjour, je m'appelle Maxime, je viens du Québec, puis aujourd'hui, je vais vous raconter une histoire de voyage euh, qui a un lien avec les langues, vous allez voir. Quebec is a province in Canada where they still speak French. You probably know that. In fact, French is the only official language of Quebec. No, not even English made it in there. It's the original Canadian colony, once part of New France, and ceded to the British after the Seven Years' War in 1713. They say that a strong Québécois accent is one of the more difficult French accents to understand. Pretty cool, though. In France, to start a question, we will say « est-ce que tu veux ?», whereas in Canada, we will say « tu veux-tu ». And many English words for things are simply translated into French, instead of the usual French expressions being used. Like in France, the word for traffic light is « feu », meaning « fire », but a Canadian will say « lumière », because in English, it's a traffic light. Canada also has tons of French speakers in Ontario, where the further south you go, the more they sound like Parisians. And then there's this. Jacques Richard said, uh, en mois de juillet, 1962, on a moved out of Mister. Quand elle s'est passée, de mon âge, j'étais à terre d'agricole. No, I am not trying to trick you here. If you heard some English in there, you heard it right. People really do speak French like this in quite a few parts of Canada. It's a mixed language called Chiac, and there is even a bit of First Nations language in there. Chiac speakers can speak proper French, though, the Acadian version. Acadians live on the east coast of Canada in what is called the Maritime or Maritime. Who knows what accent I should be talking in. So here's a question for you. Can people from France and Canada understand each other? Well, yes, they can, but if you have any personal experience with that, let us know about the differences in the comments. Oh, il y a une ta patience, un monde qui moyen parle créole, un monde parle créole, il parle vite. Comme on va dans Houston, il dit, moi je connais où toi tu es from, tu es from Louisiana, parce que tu parles créole et puis tu parles vite. Les monde créole parle vite et. Yep, Americans, you know this one. Louisiana Creole is spoken by fewer than 10,000 people, mainly in Louisiana. But is this the only kind of French you're going to hear down south? In the 1700s, this area was absolutely flooded with Acadians who were expelled from France. Yep, like in Canada, and their dialect eventually mixed with the colonial dialects to give us the modern Louisiana French. So this is actually quite distinct from Louisiana Creole. Interesting to know. Now, before we get into some dreamy turquoise waters, I'd like to invite you into another dreamy world. It's my world of stories, where we teach you beautiful languages like French in the same way that you learned your first language as a child, by hearing stories all around you every day. It's a very, very natural method, and we have thousands of students speaking beautiful French. To show you what it's all about, I've put together a little kit for you called the Story Learning Kit. It's absolutely free. It's my gift to you, and you can have a proper look around in your own time to see if it's for you. It will show you how to learn French and other languages through stories. Link in the description right beneath this video. Now look at these names around me. You've heard of some of these places before. The West Indies are gorgeous tropical islands full of French speakers. Not surprising since they all belong to France, but you're also gonna hear a ton of French Creole in these islands. Virtually the entire population of Martinique speaks both French and Creole, but one French-speaking Caribbean country doesn't belong to France. Et nous sommes juste ça, nous monté à avion, nous descend Miami, nous dépassé un bel séjour. The main difference between Haitian French and standard French is the intonation, which sounds a little Creole. Now don't get confused, remember the Creole version is a different thing. There's Haitian French and there's Haitian Creole, the everyday language 
based on French, how on earth do they even keep these languages separate? And we can't leave out French Guyana in South America. It borders Brazil and is France's only territory on the continent. But does this mean French is spoken on six continents? And now, anyone know which continent has the most French speakers of all? J'ai dit à mon frère, j'ai dit que hey, mon ami, tu penses même que quoi? Que quoi? La mère de qui? Mais... Want to guess where this accent is from? Go on, you have 21 guesses. I'm going to give you. They say there are more French babies born in Africa than anywhere else in the world. And I tell you, these babies are born to give us real language envy. See, in Africa, they speak French alongside various indigenous languages and often English too. These are bona fide, born and bred polyglots. Morocco is just a hop across from Europe, and you might know that they speak very good French there, but there are also these other fascinating French-speaking countries like Côte d'Ivoire and Togo. In fact, Africa is so big that African French is divided into four categories, as you can see here, not forgetting the French Creoles of the beautiful Indian Ocean Islands, coming soon on a channel that you might know. Did you guess this guy's accent right? Of course, Cameroon, I know you knew that, where the official languages are French and English, and then they throw in a splash of colour with 250 indigenous languages. I mean, I don't even know where to stop. You see, they're all polyglots here. Actually, in some urban areas of Central Africa and the Gulf of Guinea, French has become a first language for many people too. Algeria is in North Africa, and it's the third biggest francophone country in the world in terms of speakers, which is pretty interesting. Do you know which country is the second biggest? Well, we will have to see. Anyway, Algeria's variety is also referred to as Maghreb French, Maghreb French, since it has a very strong Arabic influence, which I happen to think is pretty special. Je me réveille peut-être à 4 heures, tantôt à 3h30. Je prends mon petit déjeuner. C'est pas un petit déjeuner, mais. Pour éviter un peu la famine ou la faim au niveau au, à l'endroit de travail, j'ai commencé comme ça. The Congo has a ridiculous amount of French speakers, considering that French is only one of their five official languages. The DRC inherited French from the Belgians during colonial times, so there are many similarities with Belgian French. Nowadays, about half the population can speak French, so you can just head for the Congo to work on your French, right? And that is not necessarily true, because everyday Congolese on the street don't just walk and speak French to each other. It's not really a thing, okay? Because, let's be honest, it's Congo, it's not France. <laughs> so you should not put in your head that, okay, I'm gonna learn French, and I'm gonna go to the streets of Kinshasa or Lubumbashi and be like, Bonjour, comment ça va? No. Je pense que c'est un pays vraiment intéressant et que les gens devraient venir le voir. Il y a des paysages qui sont magnifiques, des trucs très impressionnants, les tignes, des choses comme ça. Il y a des plages qui sont très belles. Oui, oui, même à l'école, ben, tout le monde y parle créole aussi, quoi, de base. Et... Pretty stunning, don't you think? Some of these islands are still territories of France. The friendly people of Mauritius are mainly descendants of French and British settlers, African slaves, Indian laborers and Chinese traders. And since 90% of the locals speak French, it's a pretty important part of their culture. Salut tout le monde, je me présente, je m'appelle Steve Chaillou et je suis professeur de Tahitien à l'Université de Hawaii. French Polynesia, New Caledonia, Vanuatu, there is an amazing array of island nations in the vast Pacific Ocean that are French territories. The only one that's independent from France is Vanuatu, but French is an official language there too, so you can imagine how useful French must be there and all around the region. Just remember that. And now for something that nobody knows, except those who do know. French India. Surprised? Well, this is an interesting one. Indians speak their own special version of French. At least, they speak French in the former colonies of May and certain other parts of southern India. Most French speakers live in a place called Pondicherry. Pondicherry, it sounds horribly English when I say that, but what an awesome name. It was a French colonial settlement in India until 1954. And even now, the French Quarter looks, well, very, very French. And as you can imagine, Indian French has quite a bit of influence from local languages. Really, really interesting. Did I leave your French-speaking country out? I really hope not. I've tried to do a very, very thorough job here. And there are many other wonderful French accents out there for sure that we didn't have time to cover here. But if you only wish you could speak French, 
in any accent at all, well, I think you'll probably like this video right here. Click over there and see why.